is why I'm wearing old clothes. And it's very simple, simple technique. All you do, dip your brush in like this, and holding this screwdriver, hold the brush firmly about yes. six inches or so above the frame and knock it sharply on the metal bit. Oh, what fun! And you can see I'm building up that black jolly nicely now. Mm. And if there. you wanted to have more of a glistening effect, you could spat a gold, I presume, oh, a lighter gosh. gold. I mean, you can do anything you like. Yes. This is not a rule of thumb. This is just an idea. So you see, at the end of it all, you land up with that frame there, which is the finished version. Beautiful. And that was the original. And this frame cost £1.50 in wood. The paint cost 90p. So for £2.40, you've got yourself quite a nice frame. Excellent <laughs> value. And in the shops, Neris, these hand-painted frames go for anything from between 80 to £120. So you can see how much money we've saved. Yes, and all we need is a bit of hardboard and That's some right. books at the back and a bit of glass. Yes. You and Doug have made a beautiful job of that frame, Charmian. Details of how to make that frame and everything else in the programme are in Bazaar Extra. Now, if you'd like a copy, send a large self-addressed envelope and a 17p stamp. I'll give you the address again in a minute. Well, that's all for this week. Next week, we'll be knitting an exclusive designer cardigan and the pattern's free. We'll be restyling a garden and we'll be seeing how Sid and Irene, our job hunters, are shaping up. Till then, goodbye. From March the 1st, something amazing is happening to Radio Times, making it the totally comprehensive guide to all channels. With satellite television, Channel 4 and ITV joining side by side with BBC programmes. There's still a few weeks to go, but from March the 1st, if it's on, it'll be in Radio Times. <coughs> Oi, <coughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. <coughs> That's what we need. Good afternoon, welcome to Children's BBC. How are you? Hope you're feeling all right. I can see we were next. Oh, what are you up to? He hit the producer with that. You're naughty. He'll sack you. He'll sack you, you know. Um, Ed, we're back, aren't we? For so long we were here, but now we're back to here. We're so glad. We're so glad. We're so glad, aren't we? Now, thank you very much. This is BBC One. Yes, you two could be Reg the announcer if you really desired to be. Hey, do you want to try and do a time check? Right, OK. Hang on. Go on. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Something very funny is happening here. It's very spooky. Anyway, look. Oh, will you shut up? <laughs> Thank, you very... Thank you very much to Navan Visser, who sent us this. It's a sign for us to hang on the broom cupboard wall. Can you do that? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to tell you to be shut up. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, look, I'll let you introduce the first programme, all right? You say forget me not farm, go on. <laughs> Portly the pig, Gracie the cow, Mirtha sheep, top a tanker, come and meet them now. Dandelion and bird up telling jokes with cheeky charm. The tractor, they all live on the farm. On forget me not, forget me not, on forget me not farm. Mrs. Mouse, you don't need a leaf to keep you and your family dry. I've been given an umbrella, big enough for all of us. Here, Scarecrow. I like your brolly. Yeah. What brolly? That's what is known as an umbrella. Oh, I see. Here. What do you call a bad-tempered gorilla with a banana in each ear? 
I don't know. <laughs> Call it anything you like. It can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody's happy in all this rain. Now, we're always happy. Yeah, we don't mind when it rains or drizzles, but we like it better when the sunshine sizzles. <laughs> you know who really enjoys this weather? The ducks and the geese. They're used to splashing about in all the wet. Not all birds like it in the cold and wet. Some fly south for the winter. Yeah? And why do they fly south? Because <laughs> it's too far to walk. <laughs> <laughs> That's called migration. My what? Migration. Have I got a gration? No, migration is when birds and animals go somewhere else for part of the year. Usually because it's warmer or easier to find food. The house martins that have been nesting round the farmhouse will soon be off to Africa. Sounds like a holiday to me. I wish I could go on a holiday. Where would be a good place for a scarecrow to go? I know. Scareness. <laughs> <laughs> and I know where cows would like to go. <laughs> New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> I know where I'm off to now. Somewhere drier. Oh, wait for me. Farmer covering up the hay. <laughs> it's probably to stop it getting a cold. <laughs> you mean hay fever? <laughs> <laughs> Here, Burdock, do you know what the best thing about rain is? No. What? <laughs> when it stops. <laughs> <laughs> Here, farmer can't do much when it's wet. No! Poor Scarecrow, out in all that rain. Yeah, well, he's used to it. I'm glad we're inside in the dry, though. Yeah! I'm standing here in the wet and there's one thing you can bet If I had my way, I'd go on holiday A cruise on a great big ship But scarecrows, we don't go away We don't even go for a day So I'm left standing here with rain in my ears And I feel like a great big drip Yes, I feel like a great big drip Now I don't wish to complain But it's always me in the rain And I'd surely smile if just once in a while I could go on a seaside trip Building sandcastles down to the sea Oh, how happy I'd be but here I am getting wetter and wetter And I feel like a great big drip Yes, I feel like a great big drip Great clouds, please blow away from above Go and rain on some other place I can only dream, but there's one thing I'd love To feel the sun on my face I expect there'll soon be a storm Instead of bright sunshine so warm At times I think I'm so wet I might shrink And my beautiful clothes might rip I wish all this raining would stop My head is a wet soggy mop Standing here in the damp a soaking wet tramp And I feel like a great big drip Yes, I feel like a great big drip Oh, I feel like a great big drip
Oh, Dandelion, what rotten weather! Well, you know, there are some animals that like it like this. Who likes this weather? <laughs> Reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Burdock, has it stopped raining yet? No! This rain's good for. Oh yeah? What's that? It gives farmer a chance to go off to the market or go shopping. Farmer's off to a special shop for farmer's bits and pieces. Bits of what? Nah, bits and pieces, all sorts of things. On Forget-Me-Not Farm, when the rain comes down, the puddles become quite deep, and it soon turns a bright smile to a frown on the face of Mirtha, the sheep. Mmm, Mirtha, there's nowhere to sit down. Not a dry spot to be found. This rain is turning my fleece soggy. In weather like this, there's only one place to be. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Mmm, Martha, it's stopped. Good. I don't like the rain. Who doesn't like rain? Who does like it? All rain does is make things wet and mucky, like your wheels trundle. They're mucky because they spin in the mud. Watch this. Oh dear, farmer's new gate. The rain will soon wash it off. That's the good thing about rain. It cleans everything. Well, there's nothing else good about it. Ooh, it's just cold and damp, and it makes my wool sopping wet. Rain isn't all bad. Come on, I'll show you. Here, Burdock, it's been raining cats and dogs. How do you know? <laughs> I nearly stepped in a poodle. <laughs> now, what do you both enjoy doing most on a hot, dry day? Well, we like to come here by the stream. For a long, cool drink? Without rain, there wouldn't be a stream. Oh, I see. Yes, but it's still soggy and boggy. Ah, you think it's boggy here? You should see Valley Farm. It's like a paddling pool, but it's fun to splash through. See ya. When the weather is wet, you mustn't fret, cos rain is lots of fun. Just look around, and on the ground, puddles for everyone. If a mucky machine needs a clean, but the mud just sticks like glue. A drive through a puddle, all that mud will come up, you'll be good as new. Splish, splash, splash, paddling in the pools and puddles, drip, drop, drizzle, mooching in the mud. Now don't be muddled, but in every puddle there's a kind of mirror to be found. And if you took the time to look, you'd see yourself upside down. Splish, splash, splash, paddling in the pools and puddles, drip, drop, drizzle, mooching in the mud. Now, tell me, what do you see, Gracie? Fields. Wet fields. The rain waters the fields. Ooh, and that makes the grass grow greener. And the turnips to grow juicy. And it fills up the pond. Ducks need somewhere wet to live. 
It's only ducks who enjoy this weather. Not only ducks. I'll show you. I know. <laughs> and it's absolutely magnificent. Oh, dear. He'll never be clean again. He will when it dries. To pigs, rolling in mud is like having a bath. But he's caked in it. Caked in? Has somebody brought a caked in? I'm feeling a bit peckish. Trust you, Portly. Up to your eyes in mud and you're still thinking about food. Why not? I could just eat a pie right now. What sort of a pie, Portly? What sort do you think? <laughs> a mud pie. Yes, sir. Can I help you? Please. How do? Good morning. I'm, I'm looking for a yard brush. No problem. There's some just oh. behind you. These are heavy duty. Yes, they are, yes. Yeah. Okay. Alright. How much are they? Four pounds plus VAT and then there's the handle. Oh, the handle as well? Yes. All right. Yeah, I'll do a treat. Yes, thank you very much. I've got an account next door. Can you put it yes. on that? No problem. Look, it's stopped raining. I can see a little patch of blue sky between the clouds. Yeah, it's my favourite colour. Forget me not blue. Yeah. At last. Here, Scarecrow, how do you tie two clouds together? I know that. <laughs> With a rainbow. Yeah. Yeah. This is mouse. Evergreen leaves. They may look hard and spiky, but they're really quite comfy for you and your family to sleep on. Here, Scarecrow. Where's your scarf? Yeah, I wish I knew. Farmer came and took it this morning. Now the wind's whistling round my neck. Here, why does the wind whistle? I don't know. <laughs> Cause it doesn't know the words. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Mouse seems cosy enough. She's been taking in some pine needles. I wonder why they're called evergreen. Cause that's exactly what they are. They stay green all through the year. Yeah. Oh, I see. Most trees lose their leaves by the winter time and look quite bare. I bet without their leaves, the trees feel really chilly. Nah, they've got a blanket. A blanket? What sort of blanket? A blanket of snow that covers everything. Even you, Scarecrow. <laughs> In the winter, nature slows down. It's not a good time for plants and things to grow, so they sort of go to sleep and store up energy. Ready to spring into bud. Yeah, in the spring. I see. In the winter time, nature sort of grinds to a halt. Yeah, a bit like the farmer on these cold mornings. Here, 
I hope Farmer doesn't spill any of that treacle stuff. <laughs> he could be in a really sticky situation. <laughs> Weather's frozen all the diesel in the engine. Yeah, and farmer's getting all steamed up about it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, if I was helping farmer, I'd use a crowbar. <laughs> yeah, or a wing nut. <laughs> <laughs> Stay up, I suppose. How's he look? He's got a scarf. Got a scarf for him. Come on, get the scarf on. At least one of them will be warm then. Look at the honey jump. Here, Scarecrow. Isn't that your scarf over there? Yes, and I wish I had it back. It's no joke feeling the draft around my neck. You mean it's snow joke? <laughs> <laughs> Here, have you noticed that it nearly always snows overnight? That's right. It hadn't snowed when I went to sleep last night. Then I woke up this morning. There it was. When you wake up in the morning and to your delight you find that all around you is a dazzling white Something magical has happened through the night And you know, it's been snowing It's been snowing Don't you know? It's been snowing Make sure you're warm and that you wrap up well Find yourself a sledge from the top of a hill Give a little push and then you're in for a thrill in the snow It's been snowing Prince in the snow Big feet, little feet, mind how you go It may be a dog, a horse Or a crow In the snow When it's been snowing It's been snowing Don't you know It's been snowing When all the world is white And the snow is sparkling clean You can leave a set of footprints For everyone to see They'll know that you've been stepping Where no one's ever been In the snow It's been snowing Have you ever caught a snowflake falling from the sky? And have you ever really looked at one magnified? It has six points and it has six sides, don't you know? It's been snowing. It's been snowing. Don't you know? It's been snowing. Star-shaped snowflakes fluttering down, covering the world like a blanket on the ground. Such a beautiful sight when you look all around at the snow. It's been snowing. A snowman from a handful of snow You roll it and you roll it Round and round you go Just watch how quickly it grows And it grows in the snow It's been snowing It's been snowing Don't you know It's been snowing You can make it look real With a carrot for a nose His eyes and his buttons Come from tiny shiny stones But to make it really smart A paperback bow Don't you know It's been snowing It's 
snow can be beautiful but also cold as ice So in the chilly snow, I'll give you some advice Wear an extra pair of socks, a larger size, don't you know? It's been snowing It's been snowing Don't you know? It's been snowing Wrap up well with something cozy, warm and thick A fleecy woolly scarf, twice round your neck I have to keep my ears warm and a pair of furry bits will be snug When it's been snowing <laughs> Here, Scarecrow, what do snowmen have for breakfast? I don't know. I do. Snowflakes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, with icing sugar on them. <laughs> Come on, let's go and see what they're all getting up to. Wait for me. When the snow lies thick on Forget-Me-Not Farm, you may slip, slide or stumble, unless you've got big wheels and thick, chunky tyres, just like a tractor called Trundle. I do like the snow. Top of the morning, Martha. Top of the milk, Gracie. Mm, it might be a good morning for you, Topper, but it's hard to find the grass under all this snow. And it makes my nose chilly. Is it cold? Yeah, you'll soon get warm if you move some snow. But where can we put it? You could always build a snowman. Bye! Mm, what a good idea. I see if Portly has a carrot for its nose. Partly, wake up. Look, it snowed last night. What? Oh, the world's gone all white. <laughs> it's snow. Oh, I think it's beautiful. Portly, Trundle, come and help us. We're building a snowman. A snowman? Huh. A snowman? Why doesn't anybody ever make a snow pig? <laughs> Whatever you're making, I'm in. I know. I'll roll a snowball to make his head. Well, if you're not going to make a snow pig, I think I'll just go back to sleep. <sighs> Uh, oh, uh, after a little breakfast. Um, yes. You know, the best place for a snowman is on the top of Windy Hill, where everyone can see it. All right, Trendle. I look for a carrot while you roll the snowball. Rolling a snowball up the hill, it's fun when it's been snowing. Push, push, harder push. Rolling a snowball up the hill, goodness, it's been growing. Push, push, harder push. Rolling a snowball up the hill, it's hard to see where you go. Where Trundle's got to then? He mm, can't take all day just to push a little snowball up the hill. Phew! That was hard work. I never thought such a little snowball would get so big. Gracie? Mertha? Where are you? Oh, you're there. Here, how does a snowman get to work? I don't know. By icicle. <laughs> <laughs> My snowball! Runaway snowball rolling down, everybody join the chain. Hurry, hurry, faster, quickly. Runaway snowball rolling down, have to go speedy pay. Hurry, hurry, faster, quickly. Runaway snowball rolling down, going like a rocket in space. Hurry, hurry, faster, quickly. It's heading for Portly Sky. I'm a dreaming. <laughs> Portly, are you all right? 
<laughs> Do you mind? I was just having a snooze when someone threw this all over me. <laughs> Never mind, Portly. You've got your wish. You've just become the world's first snow pig. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at that snowman wearing my scarf. Whatever next? He'll be wanting my nose. Imagine that, a scarecrow without a nose. How would I smell? <laughs> Same as usual. <laughs> yeah, awful. <laughs> What if he's been made to do my job? I won't be needed then. And where will Mrs. Mouse live? Don't worry, Scarecrow. When the weather gets warmer and a thaw comes, that snowman will just be a puddle of water. Fancy that. Me being worried by a snowman. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm supposed to be good because I'm good at cricket. <laughs> Don't pat them too tight. Not... The last ah, the last the last one. <laughs> oh. oh I've got some down my neck then. Oh. Right. <laughs> oh wait. wait. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.